One of my favourite lunches of the week is Sunday lunch. And as a boy, I always loved roast beef with Yorkshire puddings. It was one of my favourites. If I'm going to roast a joint, my favourite is always the rib. And so here we have a rib, as you can see, from the sirloin into the rib. A little olive oil or a little dripping, it's your choice what you use. I like my beef medium rare. I don't always use a, a meat probe, but sometimes I do. So with this joint, what I would do is take it to 44 degrees Celsius, bring it out, wrap it in tinfoil, meat probe back in, and allow it to build to 48 degrees Celsius. So it's doing two things. It's taking it to where I want it, and secondly, the meat's resting. You could roast your rib on the bone. It just makes life a lot more difficult. It's much easier in the pan to give it a bit of color, but really to get heat inside the joint. If you buy your joint off the bone, it's always good to ask a butcher for a few bones. We use them as a natural trivet. And with our bones, the next best thing to being cooked on the bone is a few bones underneath. Then, when the beef's resting, we use those bones to make our gravy. So as you can see, we've caramelized our beef, taken it out, in with the bones, which act as a natural trivet, put the beef into the oven, cook for about 40, 45 minutes, and then we'll make our gravy. Gravy is one of those things you have to make at the last minute, because what you want is the juices. So there's our bones, and we've got our sediment straight off the juices. So as you can see there, I've drained off the fat and the sediment. A lot of people would just discard it, just use the sediment. When I was a boy, I used to make juices with the gras, the fat. It's delicious back in gravy, but that's option again, it's your choice. When I was a boy, my father used to put the fat back in. There's our bones, some of the sediment, half a litre of nor rich beef stock pot. There's two trains of thoughts when it comes to seasoning. Some people season at the start of cooking, some people season at the end of cooking. And I'm with that theory, season afterwards, not before. Because there's no way seasoning can penetrate into the middle of that joint. And with the rich beef being so good, it does the job for you. And now what we have, just a tiny bit of corn flour. Again, and you make your gravy as heavy or as light as you wish. I'm not a person who likes really heavy gravy, but I like texture. And there's my roasting juices. There's our joint. As you can see, I like to carve my beef thick. By carving it nice and generous, you retain texture, heat, flavor. And when meat's so good, it doesn't have to be sliced very thin because it's tender anyway. Roast beef on Sunday without Yorkshire puddings is not a proper lunch. You have to make great puddings and great gravy. So there's our roast beef, Yorkshire pudding and gravy.